Welcome back, everyone. Um, today, we're going to take on the gyms, uh, or at least the first gym, and then I guess we'll start Slifco. Um, a lot to talk about. Um, I guess we'll start with All Out. That was one of the best pay-per-views I've ever seen in my life. Um, I still had some issues with it, just because of the way that AEW tends to do things, but overall, um, can't really think of a bad moment on it um the weakest point was the mercedes match and it wasn't like it was bad it just it, it had a, it had a lot of to try to live up to um i think we're cool with little swimmer being in the lead um but yeah just an all-around amazing uh pay-per-view i i feel like every match delivered some matches over delivered um the MJF Garcia match was probably my least favorite match on the card outside of the uh, Mercedes match. And what am I going to do against double pan for? Um, I, I was enjoying the match, and then it just kind of felt like it went on forever. And it did this thing that AEW matches do where it had a really great finish, but then the match kept going. Um, when Garcia hit the pile driver, I was just like, yeah, that's the place to end the match. And then MJF kicks out. And then they go for a little longer. MJF hits a low blow to, like, no reaction. Has one of the most awkward-looking pins I've ever seen, and the match ends there. But then they keep going for some aftermath, and then Garcia hits, like, a super, a super pile driver on MJF and the whole time just like why why wouldn't you have ended the match either on the first pile driver or on the super pile driver it just doesn't it doesn't make sense to me the way that things went down it just I, I don't know it just AEW matches like well, the hood of peak but then they want to go higher but it's like no you you already you hit the natural climax of the match. There's no need to go further than that. Um, like, solid match, but then that, that moment just killed it for me. Because it was like, man, you missed it. You just... You had it, and then you missed it. Um, let's see. Let's go... Let's just go to the king. Um, but yeah, it just... It, it sucks. I really enjoyed the match up until that point. And I don't really get... Uh, if Garcia is staying, which I, I would assume he is? Question mark? He, have him win. It doesn't it doesn't make sense to me that he loses that in, in that fashion. Um, and then the handshake after just... I, the whole thing was just... I don't, I don't know, man. It just felt like such a sad way to end a good match. Um... Pac and Osprey, one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. And again, the same issue to me where the match had a couple points where I was like, alright, that's where you end it, right? The double poison Rana, and then Osprey just kind of got back up, and I was like, ah, oh, here we go. My my regular issue with Osprey matches has, has shown up. Um, it just became finisher spam, you know, and ah, uh, it just it bummed me out because. The match was so damn good up until that moment. Um, still a great match. The two really brought the best out of each other. Um, but just, man, it just it just took that one bit too far and just held it back a little bit in my eyes. Um, but, but still, I would... I don't even know if I'd say match of the night because... The, the main event and... And honestly, the the street fight were were both just really insane. Um, and the street fight ended when it should have ended. That that's my main reason for putting above it is that uh, Willow and Statlander just went out and beat the shit out of each other. Had a great match. There was one scary looking spot though when uh when Statlander did like the the senton off the top rope onto the table outside and like just 
landed tailbone first. Um, that should look that should look disgusting. But other than that, great match. Um, really liked the finish. Was not expecting Statlander to go over, but um, just both of them did a great job. Is I would I would say probably the best women's match in AEW's history. Um, you know, up until recently, I, I was really not agreeing with the whole idea of uh, they might have the best women's division around. I don't know, man. They might have the best women's division around. Like, NXT is still, I would say, just a little bit ahead. But because they let their women go, pun intended, all out like that, it, it just, you can, you see what you get as a result. Um, but yeah, just a great match all around. Great ending. Was not expecting Stat to go over. Um. Oh, I skipped the Young Buck, the Young Bucks and uh, Yuta Cesaro tag match. I'd probably put that a little over. Um, it wasn't a bad match. It just, it never felt like Cesaro and Yuta could win. And I just, I don't like the Bucks, so never, never cared at any point for that match. Uh, it just felt like I got cool down, um, which sucks because I like Cesaro. I like Wheeler. But just had no reason to feel invested in the match. Um, my bad. My bad. I'm saying Cesaro, Claudio. I don't know. I, I'm using his his, his, his horrible I'm using his WWE name. Um, what, what's left? Uh, the Mercedes Sheeta match. Ah, it was good. Like uh, it was. I I don't know. Like, I just feel like both of them have lots of steps since, the, like, when in their prime, I guess you could say. Um, way better than the, the all-in match, though. So, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna say Britt was the reason the all-in match wasn't as good as it could have been. Um, solid match. I, I feel like you could have swapped the, the spots of that in the street fight. But maybe we needed the cooldown match before the main events. Um... World title match. Uh, it's it's weird to say this because it's it, it's Brian Danielson, the goat. Um, it, he he carried the hell out of Jungle Boy, but the issue is that I I will never see Jungle Boy as a serious threat or contender. He has like no presence. He just he's boring. Probably one of the least intimidating looks around. I just I don't I don't get the appeal of him. And there's it never felt like Brian was in danger, you know. Um and transform. But yeah, it just I, I don't know. I like there's one point where where Jungle Boy like T poses and it's it's the funniest shit to me. Like I just it was like a stick figure trying to, to look intimidating and it just it didn't work um that being said towards the end of the match when when brian hits the knee and jungle boy like flew halfway across the ring i was like fuck yeah that's what i want to see here um but it was a good match it just i i don't get the jungle boy experiment i'm ready for them to move on but i don't think they're going to because it's a it's a middle finger to punk um And then the aftermath was some of the wildest shit I've seen in in wrestling. Calyrex, what? The, hold on a minute. What's this big brain bitch doing over here? I'm actually kind of scared. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, 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 okay. We're good. We're good. Um. Oh shit. That's good. Okay. I gotta get you out of there. Um, you're just a psychic, right? But yeah, the aftermatch was uh, really insane. Um, wasn't expecting for Claudio to, to turn on Brian. I, that That's gonna need a lot of explaining. Um, 
I, it, the plastic bag thing was one of those moments where it just, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. it just, I guess it's a cool moment in terms of, all right, Mox is willing to go this far against someone that, you know, was important to him, is important to him. But my issue is just how how do you justify someone attempting murder one two attempting murder on your world champion at no security at no point comes out um, and, and then like no one came out to make the save no one came out to to do anything about an attempted murder happening in the ring. You know, Tony Khan doesn't immediately suspend or fire Mox. And it's like... I, I don't know. It just It's a hard suspension of disbelief. Like, it's asking a lot. It's asking a lot to just be like, oh, yeah, this is something that's cool that's happening. Um, I like that JR was selling the hell out of it. He was like, yo, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever, I've ever seen. This shit doesn't belong in professional wrestling. This is this is pure garbage. What the fuck is wrong with Mox? Like that was great. Jr. is the best. Um, which is an issue I kind of had with, with Tony and uh, and Excalibur. They just a man is being murdered in the ring, and they're just treating it like oh heels doing heel things. And Jr. is like this is the fucking damnedest shit I've ever seen in my life. You know. Okay, we could get Ditto or Calyrex. I feel like Ditto's... We already got so many busted Pokemon. I'm gonna feel bad turning out either one, because a, a Ditto just kind of gives us some fun options, I guess. Uh, you know, just a mirror match for anything that we come up against. But with Calyrex, does it do anything without the horse? I don't know how it's, it operates in this game. But I had a Giga Drain. Yeah, we'll take the hit on Chambro. B3, the big brain rich. But yeah, um, it's a cool moment, but I feel like I really had to turn my brain off for it. Um, I, I, I'm just really surprised that they had Claudio turn. Um, I like that they they had you to supposedly not know. You know, we'll see what develops there, but nice touch. Um, but just it's ah, it's just it required that that suspension of disbelief. You know, to a point where I don't know if I'm willing to give it to them. Um, oh, you guys are all in here. You're not supposed to be in here. Can I? No, that's not. put Tyranitar back in, but it's pretty far behind everyone else. But yeah, okay, and then the main event. Um, I think these two might have Swerve and Hangman might have like the best modern rivalry around. Um, I, I don't have necessarily an issue with the match. I, I kind of have an issue, issue with the match, but I think that after their death match, they shouldn't have touched each other again for a while. The the triple threat title match made sense, um, but they had like a singles match t together that I feel like you shouldn't have done because it kind of takes away from the impact of having these matches. 
Um, but this match itself, uh, like, a, I, I want to say 10 out of 10 match, but that ending was, was just so crazy that I'm like, I don't know if I want that in professional wrestling. Um, like, so much about the match was great. Just the way they were beating the shit out of each other, the, the cinder block spots, just... Just a great way for these two to kill the, the beginning of the match, where they're trying to decapitate each other with the the descending steel cage. I've never seen that before. I loved it. You know, it was it was a great way to start the match. And the stapler spots just had me cringing because that shit looked painful as fuck. I don't have cool lava in here. Oh, because we played some big match, John. That's right. Um, But then the ending came, and I... The the syringe, I feel like that might have been a bit too far. Like, I get it. You truly hate this man. But I'm also like... I, I don't know if I want to see something like that ever again. It just felt like one of those things that... If wrestling never had another syringe spot, I'd be happy. Like, the closest I could think to it was when Kurt Angle tranquilized the big show, but it's just, you know, that wasn't a syringe to the gums. It, it was just a spot that, I, I don't know. I don't know if it went too far. I don't know if it was just me being squeamish for the idea of someone shoving a needle into your gums and, you know, not being in a dentist office. Um, but then the steel chair shot afterwards... I don't care if that shit was gimmick. That shit was unnecessary. Um, I was 14 when Benoit killed himself and his family. I like Brian's headbutt, Gabe's Gable's headbutt. That's already too much for me. Like I don't, I don't like seeing that shit. And then we throw in these unprotected chair shots, and it's just like I don't, I don't know about this man. That might have been too far. Um, great match, but just... I I don't want to see these guys go the same way as, as Benoit. Just just the CTE in general is, is already really, really uncomfortable to think about. Um, great match otherwise. Um, and I, I feel co pretty comfortable saying that was probably AEW's best pay-per-view. Um, Bash in Berlin, No Mercy were all for last week. Um, I don't think I talked about them, but uh, Bash was was good all around. It wasn't a bad match on the card, but it, it also felt like like a B tier pay per view, which is kind of like yeah, we we got this obligation. Um, it it just kind of had that. The one thing that I really didn't get about it was just, uh, I like the five match card, but it felt like you could have added some of the other matches to it. Like, you could have had Nia and, uh, and Michin have their street fight on the show, and it would have been fine. Um, no, because we have Surf already. Um, you could have had the LA Knight Open Challenge on the show. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's not much to for me to say about this one. Like it was, it was a good review. I enjoyed it. Um, the dog or the the strap match was great. Wasn't expecting to continue after that. I mean, I was, but I thought they'd give it a little time to breathe. And said the very next night, Drew is uh, immediately shoving the bracelet down Punk's throat. Um, I, they have to do hell in a cell for them, right? Like that's the only way this can go on. Um, I'm hoping they can bleed. I feel like that's what's been missing from a lot of WWE matches. I don't need bleeding to the extent of AEW where every match is a blood match, but Punk and Drew need the blood. Um, KO Cody was good. Just it, it had the same issue I have with AEW matches where it just it reached a climax and then it kept going. Um, there was like 
three stunners and two crossroads too many for me. Uh, it just it had so many good points where the match could have ended and it would have been amazing. And then it just kind of fell flat at the end. Um, no Mercy, solid all around. Um, was not expecting Chase U to lose the titles that fast. Or to lose the title match. I thought they were for sure going to win that one. Um, and then they didn't and Ridge, Ridge killed them. Um, everything on the show was good. Julia debuting was the highlight. Excited to see what she does. I, I saw the NXT after, and I know the the knee was weird, but like that seemed more like a camera angle issue. I've seen the other angles and they seem fine. Um, but there's also they signed like two other high profile women. They signed uh, Stephanie Vicker. Is it Stephanie, right? Uh, Sarah Vicker. I forget her name. I know it's for her. Um, and then they signed someone else who I'm not familiar with at all in any way. And it seems like they're hyping up these these three. But I'm just wondering, like, when do you debut then? Because like, we've known about Vakur's signing for a while. So I just feel like you kind of have to get her on the show at some point. It, it doesn't have to be in the women's title scene, but she should probably be on the show. Um, uh, I didn't want to go back. No, we're going to keep going this way. Uh, but yeah, solid week for wrestling. Um, and JBL popping up in in Mexico or TNA and shit. Not sure what that's about, but I'll, I'm in. I like JBL. I like Jibble. Um, but yeah, solid, good, solid week for wrestling. Really looking forward to AEW again. Um, and a lot of it has to do with, with Brian being the champion. Um, and hopefully MJF being gone for a while. I don't know what to put here in the first plot. I feel like we've had multiple Pokemon now that check check Little Swimmer. Let's put Nido King in the top. Heal him with a potion. Where are my regular potions at? Okay. On, on the card game front, uh, today was Yu-Gi-Oh! Worlds. Um... Maybe it's just the state of the ban list and all the shit with Konami, but I I just didn't really I couldn't really care about it. I tuned in for the uh, the finals of Master Duel because I wanted to see the the rematch between Jesse and and Joshua. And oh shit! Um. That's scary, but um, other than that, I just I found it hard to care. I saw the ending of the the TCG or the TCG finals. Um, ah, it just it felt like the same thing I've been watching all year. Um, I I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I've been having a lot of fun with the uh, with Runic Red Rose. I'll have a profile up on that. It might be today. It might be the same day as this video. It might be the day after. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I'll have a profile up on that. I have a lot of stuff in store for Elestrals, um, but I'm just waiting for cards to come in. Uh, I was going to do an opening for my Shattered Stars, and then I kind of got impatient and just opened them. Opened up four Shattered Glass Spectarius. Zero Artemis, so I had to order those, but... They'll be here soon enough. Um, but got in some good testing and I have a an Earth profile planned out. It's it's written up, it's the voice is recorded, you know. But I just I need like one card and I can't do the profile without that one card. So I, I'm hoping that it comes in on Friday. Um, it's gonna be a couple days. But that's literally all I'm waiting on, it's just that uh just that one card to come in so I can film the card portion of it. Um, I The issue with the Lestrals is that there's no... Uh, there's the app, but I have to run like... What's it called? Blue Sky or whatever the... Uh, 
the the Windows program is called in order to blue stacks or something whatever it's called in order to record that on my, my computer and that's the only way you can use the app right now so I can't really use the app to record deck profiles which would normally you know be what makes up for missing a couple physical cards so instead I gotta wait for the physical cards um, but yeah I'm liking the daybreak meta I underestimated how broken Eddie was Eddie is extremely broken um, might be the best card in the game um, but yeah that's just a lot of fun right now um, there's supposed to be a local starting around here I think in the next couple of weeks so hopefully I'll have time for that um, really looking forward to playing some earth and you know I was using Celestia and the the foretell deck and the issue with it is that it's a good deck it's just it's really not my playstyle it's way more uh, less explosive than I would like it to be um, which is what I like about Earth. So, I'm, I'm sliding back to Earth. That that's so far that's been my favorite uh, deck type in Elestrals. I like the Morfrost deck, but uh, it's just it's missing something, and I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe next next uh, set will give us more support. But yeah, Elestrals is a lot of fun. Oh, I need to switch out because that's a that's a fairy. Um, I finally bought some Pokemon cards. Uh, I bought the Victini deck. I don't know if Victini is the, the way to go. Like, I don't know if that's the best, uh, I don't know if that's the best starter deck, but they had a couple target. They had that, and Rhydon, and, uh, a couple others that I forget, but I went Victini just because I like Victini. I'm pretty sure Rhydon is supposedly a better deck. I, but... I just really like Victini. If 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 I have to, I'll go pick him right on my next target trip. But it's not a big deal to me. Um, I started playing the app, and I was I'm recording some stuff for like a video where I document my start with Pokemon TCG and just work my way through the game. Um, and I I was planning on you know recording myself opening the app for the first time and going through all that to. Just like see how the tutorial worked, and then I got forced into big screen, into full screen, and just could not exit. So I recorded it all. There's no like reaction. There's no me talking. The screen was recorded, so I guess I have footage of that and I can talk over. But um, you know, it wasn't what I expected it to be. The, when I came up with the idea of recording myself doing that, um, really great tutorial. I just don't like that the app forced me to do the tutorial and did not let me exit properly and it just felt weird to open it up for the first time and then it's like hey you can't leave here until you until you've solved my tutorial solve my riddles and you're free you know um, but tutorial was really solid really helped learn how to play the game um, I just have to get familiar with the card pool because when I was looking through my deck, the Victini deck, I was like, I, I know there's some cards in here that are good, but I couldn't tell you what they are. I need to watch some footage. I need to watch some, uh, look at some deck profiles and just see what, uh, what the best way for the deck to function is. I know that Worlds was, uh, what's it called? Is it Iron Thorns? What's the, what's the Paradox Tyranitar? Like I saw that and it's like a skill drain deck. I'm not playing that, but, you know, looking at a deck like that would be nice just to see what, what it plays, what the staples are. Um, but the tutorial was cool. I just got to find time to actually sit down and, and play the game now and, and figure out how to build decks for the game. Like, I don't see myself doing deck profiles or anything for Pokemon for a while. Maybe an unboxing here and there. A lot of, uh, a lot of stuff with the app will be cool, but... You know, we're going to be in a learning phase for a while. Next month, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up a One Piece deck and get into that. I know the simulator exists. I know the app exists to get the tutorial down. Um, but I just haven't had time this month. And I don't think I'm going to have time for the rest of this month. So I just got to put that on hold, unfortunately. But, you know, when it when it comes time in October, 
uh, you know, we'll hit up we'll hit up One Piece. And uh, speaking of One Piece, yo, this week's chapter was fucking insane. Like, goddamn. Um, I don't like talking spoilers about ongoing series like this, but we're talking One Piece spoilers. So you know, if you're not caught up. Or you ever plan on reading it? Um, and skip ahead a few minutes. Um, man, watching Saturn just fucking melt away and die—that shit was insane. Imu was like, "All right, fuck off and die." And then he just melted to death, and his skeleton just fell to the floor. I was like, "Oh damn, fuck him!" But damn. Um, and then you got. You got the boy with the moon, moon face, Garland, I think. It's Garland, right? And then he's like, that's Shanks' ancestor or whatever, his uncle or some shit. Like, this whole chapter was just, man. Watching Saturn die was crazy, though. And then seeing the, uh, the Vegapunks, like, <laughs> stitch themselves together and create some abomination looking fucker, that, that's great. I'm, I'm glad they're still around in some capacity. Um,. But yeah, man, just such a great chapter. Can't wait to see what the Revolution Ar Army finally does. We have to get new bounties now, right? Like, after Egghead, there's no way that we don't have new bounties, right? And are the Straw Hats going to be blamed for killing Saturn? Like, what's, what's happening there, you know? Um, but yeah, great chapter. Oda... Oda hasn't disappointed man like three years at this point um, the last thing he did that disappointed me was that he kept uh, kept Oroichi al alive too long like that was the last thing that was like three, two three years ago um, but man he's just been he's been cooking bro Chainsaw Man that shit was hype too um I'm not getting any spoilers for that one. I think they're getting to the point with Chainsaw Man where we're like really getting into the heavy parts of the plot, which is great because uh, it just it kind of dragged for the longest time, and uh, it would suck to have like one page of relevancy in the beginning, and then like 14 pages of nothing, and then a cliffhanger ending that was impactful, and then you repeat it again two weeks later. So I'm I'm happy to see things finally happening. Um, But yeah, Chainsaw Man was, was cool this week. Uh, but man, One Piece was just next level. And I feel like it's been that way for for like a good while now. While we're on the subject of manga, um, I started Vagabond like two months ago, I think. Maybe three months ago at this point. Um, but I'm reading physical. Like I, I, I just feel more comfortable reading physical. Not that I don't like reading online, but unless it's like a brand new release, I just find my attention is better when I'm reading out of the physical manga. And I ordered volume one a while back and read through the first vol, or I guess it's three volumes because it's the the Viz one three and one or whatever they call it. Um, and then I went to go order the second volume because they didn't have it at Barnes and Noble, and. It was online. It was out of stock, both on at Barnes and Noble and at Amazon. So it was like, for some reason, Amazon had it for like fifty bucks. Barnes and Noble had it for thirty, but they were like, "All right, it's not going to be in stock until the end of uh, end of August." And I was like, "All right, I guess I'll wait." And then the end of August came; it still wasn't up. And then I think Friday it it went up again, and it was like thirty three dollars for a used copy. But I really want to read it, so. Uh, I ordered it. I don't know if 33 is over or underpriced, but I'm finally going to get to continue Vagabond, so uh, excited about that. I've been reading Berserk. I'm still on Volume 1, or not Volume I guess uh, Book 1 of the, the Big Black Books. I, Berserk might have the most insane beginning to any book that I've ever read. Um... Like, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't read Berserk, but also, I don't think you'll believe me if I if I tell you what it is, but the 
first chapter of Berserk opens and our protagonist Guts is just balls deep into some kind of demon. And that that's page one. Like that's you open the book and it's page one, it's just my boy guts get in them guts. Um But yeah, so far I like I like the, the book. Um Like I know the major plot twist. I know about the eclipse just from having friends who are in the series and you know, hearing about it online for years, but so like really sit down and read it. The art's incredible. Um, the world is just so bleak and, and sad. Like, it just, it just feels so miserable, but in, like, that interesting way, uh, where it just feels like, man, how, how does anyone survive this world? I didn't mean to have Mudsdale out against Punkaboo, but here we are. Um, but yeah, it's been really interesting. I think... I just got to the part where uh, where Guts talks to the doctor and he explains to him what the king has done and all that stuff and then um, and then Guts gets attacked by the gigantic dude and and kills him and then him and Puck leave and that's where I think I left off. Um, I had previously read this whole section before, but then I just kind of fell off because I had other shit to do and don't remember anything much that happens outside of Guts being an asshole to the, the girl he saves or whatever. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's entertaining and it's it's just so dark, but in, in, in an interesting way. Like, just how fucked up the world is, not just from, like, a sake of the way people treat each other, but just how how cruel and unforgiving the world is for no reason. Um, I'm interested in no, to know more about the brand that that Guts has and how he got that, why he has it. Is there a way to get rid of it? Um, but yeah, the, the series is really cool so far. I think... Uh, I don't think I've read Game of Thrones in the past week. It's been a busy week, so no update there. Um, I did did get in some more House of the Dragon. Um, finished season one, and uh, yeah, spoilers for season one. But uh, rest in peace to that little prince dude. Um, I expected him to die. I was not expecting him to die the way he did die. Um, I've heard season two isn't as strong, to the point that that George was like, "Yo, I gotta talk shit about this in a blog," and then deleted the blog. Um, I'll still check it out and then just hope it stays consistent at least or stable. Um, but yeah, season one was was great all around. I feel like it started a little slow. But those last four episodes were just were just great from from beginning to end. Yeah, it was it was a lot of good a lot of good shit this week. Um, do I heal here? Dude, Hero King's been taking a beating. Some of those water Pokemon are a little stronger than I would like to uh, like to admit. That's fucked up, bro. So we're in September now. Um, I, I like to think that the hottest portions of the year are over, but it's still like this past week was like in the hundreds. This week is supposed to be cooler with 90s and then 80s, 
Um, so hopefully I can get back to some Yakuza now that it's cooling down. Um, I'm, I'm really tired of this heat. I don't know how you summer people do it. Um, but if we could just like murder the sun, block it out forever, that'd be perfect for me. Um, fall, winter, spring, fantastic seasons. The summer, it's just months of hell for no reason. Um, like I've been going to my dad's place to escape the heat because I have no AC over here. And he does have AC. But this past week the AC broke. And uh, he called the office and was like, hey, my AC broke. No one answered. And it was Labor Day, so it was like a three day weekend. And this broke on like a Saturday. So three days of heat, right? Tuesday comes around. For some reason, still no one in the office. Um, calls Wednesday. Sends in a ticket. No response. Thursday comes. No response. Friday. Saturday. No response. Today, no one's in the office. And no one's in the office tomorrow, I think. So, it's less hot over there than it is over here. So, I'm still using it as my escape. But, but man... This past week has just been brutal in terms of the heat. Just nowhere to hide. Just non-stop 100 degrees. No, it froze on me. What the hell? Bro, no. 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 It froze. Tragic. Is there a way I can... Do I have like save states or something? Why did it freeze? Why here? Oh man, this is, this sucks. Can I just rewind it? Let's see here. Where's that button on here? Where's that button? Man, this sucks. Okay, let's see here. No, rewinding isn't enabled. I, how do I get out of here? I don't. I don't know. I don't know what what to do here. Do I have? Oh man, our last. Save state is back there. So that means that I got to go back through all of that. Did it even save me beating the gym? I'm going to have a long one in the party instead of Nito King. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? This sucks. Oh, I'm so salty. All right, we're just gonna. <laughs> oh, that that sucks. Okay, we're just gonna beat the gym. Oh, we're just gonna beat the gym, and then we're gonna we're gonna call it a night. Oh, God damn. I'm so mad. I'm so, uh, I'm so fucking mad right now. God damn it.
just ah uh, man that sucked that sucked let's just do some constant saving I guess man um Do we need to see everything again? Is it cool if I just like... If I just hard cut to where we were previously? Man, that's rough. Man, now we gotta relearn Moonblast. Oh, man. 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 Okay. It, it is what it is. We got there once, no problem. We can get there again, no problem. Um. I guess... I, I just, was it the elevator? Is that what did it? Um... I'm so I'm so salty right now. Man. Uh, <laughs> that's And I guess I could just like watch the footage back and see who I beat and then like hard cut to being back there. And then just say, hey, we went to the Pokemon Center. You know, between runs, so I'm healed again. But that just feels dishonest. Like, because what if I fuck up? Like, Nido King was taking some pretty hard hits, you know? I feel like I have to just do it all again. Like, we didn't take this burn last time, you know? Man. Man. <laughs> that sucked. That's that sucked. gonna have to do it all over again I guess <sighs> this is like the greatest tragedy to, to befall humanity in a long time. Let's let's get that burn heal out. Gotta thank Blaine for the advice to all we carry him, you know. Um I don't wanna be saving like crazy. But I feel like I I should be now. We're 14 hours in. That's never happened before. And just man, lost a lot of progress there. That sucks. Is there a way to set up like automatic save states every like 10 or so minutes? I feel like I should look into that. Um, let's see. Do you have moon blasting? Kind of zoned out. Yeah, we do. Okay. I think I deleted the wrong move. I, de I did delete the wrong move. I deleted Aura Beam. It's okay. It's okay. It wasn't me part of our final moveset anyways. Now we have Moonblast. We're just going to be spamming that. 
<sighs> See, the, the reset has already affected us because now I have a slightly messed up moveset. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. <sighs> it's okay. We got we got the boy B3 coming at the end of this. Um Hey, I'm getting sleepy. Like, maybe I just call it after this gym now. <laughs> we went from from being a nice little chunk in the slip coats <laughs> to being right back where we started the night off. Man, oh, that sucks. I should have saved after this gym. I mean, to be fair, I haven't been doing that. I've been saving at the end of each episode. gonna start off with with Cornelius over here yeah dude I oh that's right um, I gotta switch out here
feel like we have to honor it, right? I feel wrong if we don't, but technically this wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, I feel like we have to honor it, though. that wasn't supposed to happen the original timeline was compromised and now we've lost little swimmer I don't know how to count this there's a part of it that says nothing from here matters until we get to that point where we're in Slifco. There's another part of me that says we have to honor it because it happened. Because you all saw me completely dominate that gym but then you also just saw me lose the little swimmer and I'm just kind of trying to cope with the fact that he is gone but but also do I count it I just feel like if I don't, if I don't count this loss, I'm gonna feel like I'm not being honest about all this. But also, we were, this wasn't, you know? Sorry, little swimmer. I just, I feel like for honor reasons, you have to go. You, you shouldn't have gone. You, you shouldn't be there, but you are. And there's nothing else that fills that void. Having that water type on our team was so good. a way to check ground and rock I guess um, yeah we just gotta get in some power leveling um, and that's a that sucks till next time peace <laughs>